somebody who follows in the footsteps of a greater person is called a disciple. So we have disciples of Jesus, we have disciples of Buddha, we have disciples of Confucius, we have disciples of masters, we have disciples of experts. And now, the Lord explains to us what does it mean to be His disciple. To be a disciple is to follow. And related to the word disciple is discipline. People who are disciples also follow a certain discipline. But when it comes to discipleship of the Lord, there are three levels of discipleship. The first level of discipleship is this. You say to the Lord, Lord, please accept me. Like you have a seminarian applying for priesthood. Like you have a young person who has discovered the Lord in a retreat. Like you have a couple who went through a marriage encounter weekend. And then they want to say to the Lord, Lord, please accept us. We want to follow you. And then when we decide to follow the Lord, things become difficult. And when things become difficult, people fall out. Because naturally, we want the easy way. We want the comfortable way. We don't like being shaken. We don't like being troubled. So the second stage of discipleship, after saying, please accept me, the second stage is we say to the Lord, Lord, please be gentle. Please be gentle with me, I might break. Please be gentle with me, hindi ko na po kaya. Please, gentle, please be gentle with me because I might break down. Don't bend me too far like a bow because I might break. Because I have limited endurance. At this point, brothers and sisters, some disciples fall away. At this point, when things become difficult, some disciples return to step one and then just say, Lord, please accept me. But these disciples never grow. Because in order to grow in discipleship, we must be tested. How do you know the color of the tea? Only when you put it in hot water. And then you will see the tea is black or the tea is green, or the tea is red, or the tea is orange. Why? Because you put it in hot water. So you will know the color of a true person when you test that person. You will know the color of the person when you put that person, in quotation marks, in boiling water. So we say to the Lord, Lord, Please be gentle. I have limited endurance. Lord, please be gentle. I cannot take this anymore. But if you do not give up, you enter a third level of discipleship. And what is the third level? You say to the Lord, whatever pleases you. You say to the Lord, Lord, I don't care. I don't care if I get sick. I don't care if I die. I don't care if they kill me. Just assure me, Lord, it pleases you. The third level is a level of total surrender. The third level is a total surrender without any conditions. Such that you believe that if you die, 
or if they kill you, something good will come out from killing you. And therefore you say, they can kill me. If you believe in your heart that the Lord will do something beautiful by your death, then you say to the Lord, Lord, I don't care. I am ready to die. If only you assure me you can make something beautiful from my dying. That is the third level and the highest level of discipleship when we are able to say, I don't care about this life. I don't care about their threats. I don't care about the risk. What is important for me, Lord, is whatever pleases you. So, let us push back. What are the three levels of discipleship? The first level, please accept me, Lord. The second level, please be gentle, Lord. I cannot endure this. But the third level is we say, whatever pleases you, Lord. If I die and something good happens, let it be. Then we are able to say, Lord, I really don't care about this life. I really don't care about what they say. I really don't care about how it will be. I only say, Lord, whatever pleases you, whatever makes you happy, makes me happy. There is nothing difficult for somebody who loves. Everything is easy for somebody who loves. That is why we can say, whatever pleases you, Lord. And now we ask ourselves, where are you in your discipleship? Is it, please accept? Is it, please be gentle? Or is it, whatever pleases you? I really don't care, Lord. Just show me your will, because your will is the best for me.